Rugby Park in New Plymouth for match eight of the 1993 Lions on tour. Their match today is against Taranaki. And with me is Graham Murray. Graham, what are the significant points of this game from the Lions' point of view? Well, I think there's three areas that the Lions will really be concentrating on today. The first will be the front row where they've got Jason Leonard who's, who's changed sides and I, I'm sure the Lions will be looking at him as a, a candidate for the test. He's one of the better props. Martin Johnson in lock. He's uh, had a couple of seasons for King Country, New Zealand Colts and played for England, for England against France. He's going to give them a bit more height in the lineup. He must be a test prospect. And then I think the inside backs with, with Barnes and uh, Gibbs in, in the midfield, I'm sure they'll be looking very much for test plays as, as well. And can Taranaki win? Well, I think Taranaki can come out and Otago show that if you take the game to the, to the Lions, you can play well and they are fallible. And that's really what Taranaki have to do. The Lions to win, but Taranaki will always have a chance. OK, let's uh, ch catch up with the teams now for today's match. Here's Mark again. Bulls boys are determined to entertain today. That man, Mark Allen, gets his first real look at the Lions. With all-black trialist Gordon Slater, his propping partner. A special day for winger Dwight Murphitt playing his 100th game for Taranaki. Stuart Barnes is back on the track today and will have his eyes on the test jersey. A big game from him. The same could be said for halfback Robert Jones. In the forwards, Martin Johnson, the man to watch. He lived in Taupo and was a New Zealand Colts. He's replaced Wade Dooley on tour and could even get a test. And the game starts through the referee, Steve Walsh from Wellington. It's the Lions in match eight of their New Zealand tour. They've lost two of those eight games so far to Otago and New Zealand. Now on the path to the second test, there's Jones, one of those hunting for a test spot, testing Crowley, who never fails under the high ball, the veteran Taranaki fullback. It'll be vigorous in the opening stages. Knock on by Taranaki then, but the Lions really looking to test Taranaki with a high ball, and uh, I think Barnes will be up to impress today with his picking game. So the referee changes sides, watching from this side of the scrum. Pick up from Galway, looking for Jones. Quick hands, finds the right winger, that's a Wallace. His kick just going into touch on the full. That's Wallace, who's playing his second game on tour since coming in as a replacement. Quick throw taken. The Lions win it. Jones running. He's a very effective runner for Wales but hasn't shone on tour. Penalty then, penalty then for numbers against the Lions up within the 10-yard uh, line there. I think Taranaki looking to move those line-outs back into play very quickly because they realise they haven't got the height against the Lions team. He's a key link to this Taranaki team at the moment. Jamie Cameron, the first 5'8", pushing it high. Dombrowski flicking it up to Crowley. He'll pump it for the corner. What a super kick. No, just going into touch and goal. The restart from Barnes with the headband is on. And of course, he suffered that gash against Southland. Taranaki forwards continuing the trend of New Zealand teams to really march in at the Lions early on. Four minutes gone. Crowley for three points for Taranaki. Yes. One touch judge goes up. The other follows. 3-0 Taranaki lead. Ten minutes gone. One world of sport at Rugby Park, New Plymouth. Taranaki leading by three points to nil. Great driving surge by the Taranaki forwards. That was Paletti setting the ball up well for Allen. Dombrowski flicking it to Cameron. No gap there for the kick. Tony Martin, he likes to run it. And that's a mistake. Wallace might punish Taranaki for this. He's quick, the Irish winger. Crowley is better. He's out. Kieran Crowley really stretching to get back at that stage. Tail of the line out using Johnson there, but his jump wasn't well timed, and Cameron clears for Taranaki. Here's Vince Cunningham, one of the Irish players, out as a replacement. This is his first game. Along with John Roach jumping in this line out. Taranaki don't clean that up. Cronin is the big man for the Lions. The Scottish lock setting it there. Almost losing it. Jones under pressure. Nailed there by Fendetti. Now Dombrowski. Oh, over Crowley's head. But he had time. And that's a huge punt. Massive punt which bounces into touch. 
Make a bow, Karen Crowley. Ball palm there, Slater, Andy Slater getting out of hand to it, but it's won by the Lions through Barnes now, running it up with Cunningham. The tackles made in midfield though. The Lions working second phase ball out towards the grandstand here, which is almost chock-a-block. And Crowley is again called on, and he uses that little bit of trickery that he's gained over the years of playing. Kieran Crowley just fooling the opposition long enough to change tack. They are not releasing the ball, and the tackle is penalised. So an opportunity now for the Lions to level the scores. It's 3-0. Stuart Barnes then trying to level the score at Rugby Park in New Plymouth, and he does. It's 3-all. Well, Barnes hit that very sweetly indeed. Lions are starting to exert a bit of pressure, starting to move the ball out beyond Barnes, which they didn't do in the first few minutes. Now Barnes again, controlling the back line, bringing Gibbs in on the hit, but he's well taken by Hill. Referee just penalising the Lions number seven for coming over the ball once the tackle being made. Karanaki moving the way quickly up to wide on the wing. Then tips ahead. Good kick too. It's got the Lions scrambling back. Now picked up there by Dombrowski. He knocks it. Not going forward though. Picking it up now. Saletti, the number seven. He's taken it into the small. They roll it away on the open side. Through Allen, of course. Slater, the Slater brothers are there. Now it's up to Saletti, the 17-year-old Pongan. He's there! No, he bounced in, no try, a penalty against the Taranaki flanker, Paletti Mahoney. See Paul Allen taking the ball away here and making one of those typical charges from out of the heart of the ruck and going down, feeding the ball back. Picked up by Dombrowski and Paletti coming through a 19-year-old, only been in Taranaki for three weeks, hit the ground and I would say bounced over, although the referee ruled that he rabbit it. Midway through the first half, a penalty apiece, it's three all. One world of sport at Rugby Park in New Plymouth. Hill driving, Crowley picking up a bad pass and showing him great pace. He's got Martin with him. Excellent tackle, stops Martin, but the first man there like a Lucy was Bull Allen. The movement dies, it had gone forward. You really have to ask him, how could Bull Allen get there that quickly from his scrum? Just amazing, absolutely amazing. Well, here we see Crowley on the run. He saw the gap and went for it. Wallace was hanging out on Martin, the number 14. The movement dies here with this great tackle made by Anthony Clement. And there's Bill Allen. Allen. Jones clearing. And Crowley's underneath it. Inside the half, going for the long drop. He's hit it pretty well. It's just going to drop short and to the rock to the right. And Underwood will run it out. Underwood, extreme pace. Almost to the halfway. Might well have been tackled after the kick. No, he was out of play. Tony Underwood, very quick and exciting. He ran off very quickly that time and actually ran around Kerry Enion there and uh, I think Enion's showing the, the effects of that knee injury he's carrying. Tail of the line-out battle between Webster and Faletti. Webster wins this one. This is Gibbs setting it up with Teague, that's the halfway line so the Lions can move it either way as they're in centre field, Jones tackling round close to the rucks and balls has been solid from both sides, Moore playing half back, Teague and Barnes top tackle there by Martin who'd come in from the left wing turnover Taranaki away great running from Cameron Murphy 100 games for Taranaki today. Underwood too strong with the tackle. It's kept alive by Froenon. Up there and scoring is O'Sullivan. The big tight man are getting right into the loose action for Taranaki today. And that is an outstanding try. The magnificent try coming from a Lions turnover. And Crowley moved the ball out quickly. And there the gap came up for Cameron playing out on the, the midfield instead of custody first love eight. Murphy just setting the, his opposite number up and going towards the touchline, swinging the ball back in. And there was the Taranaki boards. Enyo into Big O'Sullivan, called in late during the week. 
take his place to Taranaki team. Well, it looked as though the move had died here because Underwood surely had Murphitt nailed. Murphitt, hearing the call, flicked it into the number eight. There was Enon. Now, somewhere, from somewhere comes O'Sullivan to take the pass and go over in the tackle. It's a difficult conversion for Crowley. Well, it's straight. It's over. Super kick from the Colt, Karen Crowley. Bernie O'Sullivan, he'll be delighted to get the try and also to see the conversion successful from, o from Crowley. By 3 to 10 now. 15 minutes to go in the first half. Look for Bill Allen to come out of this one. Defensive penalty there to Taranaki and Cameron. Pushing his team back on attack. Short line out for Taranaki again. Taranaki must be delighted with the way this first half has gone, Graham. Yes, I think at this stage I'll be very happy to be up 10 points to 3. I've really now got to sustain that pressure and put more pressure on the Lions to prevent them getting back into the game. One of the Taranaki players is penalised and there was a bit of back chat and Steve Walsh has shown that he's not going to stand for any of that nonsense. And unfortunately the discipline slips and Taranaki might concede another three points. Here's his second. Stuart Barnes is successful. Ten points to six now. Two penalties to Stuart Barnes. There we see the ball taken away now by Taranaki on their 22. That is Cameron with the kick. Underwood takes it, linking up there with Clement. Now Clement's a pretty good runner, but he's well tackled. Underwood, a little bit of space. Gordon Slater tackles him. The Lions keep it moving forward. Five metres inside Taranaki's half. Now the backs will run it. Underwood in the line from the blind wing. Not a great pass. Webster look to get it forward. Now Wallace with a bit of space. Wallace pushes off one, stepping. The pass is not a good one. And Crowley, who missed the tackle, is there to recover. And the Taranaki forwards love this sort of stuff. Head down and working. Belletti. Whoa, what a runner. Dombrowski couldn't control it. Penalty against the Lions. Yes, I think he ruled then number six came in and played the ball while he was lying on the ground. One world of sport with Karen Crowley's third penalty attempt. The crowd loves it. The touch judges agree. Another three points for Taranaki. It's 13 points to six. The restart. Taranaki leading 13 points to six. One try, two penalties to two penalties. Eight minutes to go until the break. The new player there, number 21, is Ben Clark. Now the feet start working, and there's Peter Wright. Handy position for the Lions here, uh, just, just to the left of the upright, and they'll be looking to try and reduce that Taranaki lead. There's quite a blind side there of about 20 metres if they want to use that. Robert Jones with the speedster Tony Underwood on his left. And there go the Taranaki defence working that short side just in case. Dombrowski standing out there. Now the pick up and drive. Open side they go at the moment. It might switch to the blind yet. We'll see. Yes, it does. There we go. Through Barnes, the runner. With Underwood. Cameron makes the tackle. The defence sound on that short side at the moment, but Barnes lays it up nicely for Jones. Gibbs running it back. Hard and straight, Scott Gibbs. Five metres out. Pick up and drive now by Cronin. Too big. And he scores. Damian Cronin for the Lions. That was powerful running from the big Scottish lock, Damien Cronin. It was a good, good try there, really set up by the Lions ball retention, and Gibbs came back in and made a lot of ground, ran very hard and set the ball up very well for the Lions boards coming through. Cronin was a man on the spot, picked the ball up, and the defence was in tatters as he dived over. Barnes now with the conversion. For the seven points, he's successful. 
the scores are all tied up at 13 points each 40 minutes of rugby almost up big kick then by Cameron picking the Lions backs weren't really back where they should have been Clement though has tons of time from inside his 22 but really the tactics from Taranaki have been very sensible that tried the quick throw-ins to the line they've used quick dropouts, long kicks, short kicks they've mixed it up well Johnson not able to control that ball now Martin Johnson, the big number four from the lines, just ambling back there is uh, one of those players who could well force his way into the second test team. this is his first game on tour he watched the test in Christchurch Cronin though, Johnson's locking partner and Cronin who scored the try. They seem to have settled down a little bit the Lions now. Yes, they've really got their line out working pretty well and they're just able to win enough position to put the pressure on Taranek up front and just take this thing out of them and make a great progress score then. Well, that was good mauling until Murph had got a hand to it and knocked it down. Now the backs who probably wanted it earlier anyway run it. Webster getting close to the action, the number seven just pushing it back with his hand now they work it through Teague and Underwood back and field to Cunningham the Irishman nailed there by Kira Inon 5-6 out from the Taranaki line Taranaki forwards having to work hard now and over the touchline they go Taranaki did well to get the ball up and retain possession from the Lions taking him but it's uh, thrown of course has gone to, has gone to the Lions I think should have been one of the old men of the Lions, 33 years, the number six he was. Here's Johnson. Three, one. Webster Two, at the back, they hadn't really made a big impact on the game at this stage for, a, for an open side flanker. He got a hand to that ball and the Lions have it and a dangerous situation for Taranaki. Can this Lions backline work some magic now? Gibbs is very strong at second 5'8". Two tackles on him. Both Mann and Enon were called in to make the tackle. A bit difficult decision then again, referee. I think the uh, Lions actually holding the ball in on the ground. The Webster going and then holding it, not letting Taranaki play. Would it be fair to say that Dombrowski, the Taranaki halfback, is a little bit stunned by that decision? I have a letter as a good actor. One world of sport, great opportunity here for the Lions. Clark and Jones, no, the pass was blocked and not. Wallace bringing it back. The way is blocked, right and left he goes. Now, Clement, one-on-one, -on -one. Clement, the support there from Teague. Try number two for the Lions. Right on half-time, the Lions have gone into the lead for the first time in this match. Ball taken off there and actually knocked forward, I think, by uh, Karen Crowley. But really, the number 14 Wallace played around a long time there. Taranaki should have put pressure on. That's really what led to the try. Lack of Taranaki pressure. Let the line build up out wide. Came through, and there was the big flanker, Mike Teague, over for a try. Well, here was uh, the fullback, Clement. That was the tackle made, but there were two players there, both Clark and Teague. Clark applauds. This is a handy position for him. He's kicked pretty accurately today. He lands that conversion, and at the same time, the whistle sounds for first 40 minutes over. It's 20 points to 13. The Lions leading against Taranaki. The second 40 minutes of this game. The ball did not go 10 metres. Taranaki put on on halfway. Gift start for Taranaki. Perhaps Barnes should have got 50. Now the Taranaki backs, equally spread left and right. Dombrowski, which way? Off the back it comes. Dombrowski with Crowley. Murphy to chase the kick. Underwood takes it. Oh, gets a call from Clement. Spun the ball blind. Clement inside the 22 is able to put the ball out of touch on the ball. 
Good communication in Taranaki again, looking for the short line out. Really mixed up that one. McDonald, this is Clark who's come on as a replacement for Galway, and Ben Clark has been outstanding on this tour. One world of sport from Rugby Park, New Plymouth. The ground has had a curtain raiser played on it, and after heavy rain over the weekend, there were question marks about how the ground would stand up to it, but it's in great nick. The Lions winning this ball. Murphy's had a lot of work to do on the right wing for Taranaki. Well, his forwards supported him well, and now they've won it. Crowley again just judging and a change this time. The chip, Wallace, wrapped up. Webster there quite quickly, but I think Clark beat him to it. And Clark wrenches it away. Very good strength and good tactics there by Clark. And now it's Jones. We haven't seen him running the Welsh halfback. He had a bit of a burst then. That's the 22 for the Lions. And the penalty that time for the Lions is taking the Taranaki players out. And Taranaki have taken a quick one and gone away. The Lions work that team out of here. It can be the match. Marvin Johnson getting a real welcome into the Lions. This is Enon. Dummies darting halfway line. Dombrowski reaches in. He's sucked into the mall now. Referee ruling that that struck that the actually hadn't been set up. The players were on their feet and they're entitled to pick the ball up before it had formed. Centre of the field, it's Clark working it off with Teague this time. He hasn't impressed at all on tour, really, Mike Teague, for all his experience, but he is strong and he was able to get the pass away well. Now, Jones has Barnes, that's the halfway kick from Barnes, pushing it in behind Crowley. Crowley doesn't even have to look here at uh, Rugby Park in New Plymouth, he just knows exactly where the touchline is and slams it away, gaining a lot of ground. been no scoring in the second spell and we've had 15 minutes the Lions leading 20 points to 13 the home forward pack has competed well that looks like numbers might get to them this time though no, Webster now Jones the backs through Barnes Barnes the jink Barnes the run the hand on to Cunningham and Vince Cunningham gets a try in his first match for the Lions in New Zealand Good try here, mate, initially by the fourth driving it through, but uh, look, once the ball comes back to Barnes, how he just sensed there was a bit of hesitancy in the Taranaki backs and made the half gap for number 13, Cunningham, coming through right there. Cunningham in behind the post. Well, some might have thought that was a line ball, the punt handoff from Barnes to Cunningham. There's the conversion. It's over from in front of the post, Barnes. A seven-pointer for the Lions. They lead now by 27 to 13. There's the replay again. Was it Ford? Here comes Cunningham. And perhaps flat. I don't think Ford. That's try three for the Lions to Vince Cunningham. Done, Paul. Done. Fresh from England's games against Canada, Martin Johnson. It's sucking that in nicely. That's uh, been a difficult area for Taranaki, winning line-out ball. They just haven't got those tall men. And now that the Lions have brought on Ben Clark as a replacement, they've got three big jumpers there. The Lions backs in action again. No way through there. Barnes running. Barnes is quick. And Underwood is quicker. Tony Underwood. The gap shuts on him. Cameron has to do the scrambling. He's there. Did great tactics from Cameron. Bounced up on his feet immediately. That gives his team a little bit of extra time. So Tony Underwood, the gap closed on him, though he had three coming at him. But he's taken play up to about three metres, five metres short of the line. And running repairs on Stuart Barnes as his team, the team that he kept captains today, the Lions. 
can't budge the Taranaki scrum yet. Webster comes off. Dombrowski is alert. He gets Clark. Webster frees it for Underwood. Oh, that was very, very good. Underwood flicking it back, knew he was covered, and Robert Jones was there to score try number four for the Lions. One of those little touches of pass, really Taranaki looked to have the uh, ruck ball sewn up, Underwood going in, knew he was covered by the number seven Taranaki, Paletti, and there's Robert Jones, easiest of tries. There it goes again, Jones was there, Cronin was there with him, and Robert Jones, the Welsh halfback. Unsuccessful. That's only the second kick that Barnes has missed today. It's 32 points to 13. Crowley, Crowley, Crowley! Not this time. Three metres short. Must be feeling in the air. The uh, line's really holding that ball up. And I, I look for Don Brosky to take the football. Pretty vigorous rucking up and down the back of... I think it was more. There's Clement there as well. But what a great pass from Jamie Cameron for a start, which almost got Crowley home. In the meantime, Dombrowski sorting it out. He's the halfback. He taps. All eight forwards there. The lion attack holding. Almost the whole time. A score here, I would say. Up and over. No way. Poor positioning in by the referee, I think. Uh, he really should have been round. He knew where the action was. The try was going to be in that corner, and he's right on the wrong side. Who comes up with it? It's Belletti. It looks as though... Oh, no. <laughs> well, he had it. Now he's lost it to Webster. 32 points to 13. The Lions lead. One world of sport. Taranaki have done a lot of attacking. They try the same move again. Man nailed well and truly. Now, they've won it quickly though. Not enough players out wide. Murphett stumbles just short. Quickly Taranaki, they need it. Yes, this time. Andy Slater. Well, I've deserved that one. A lot of pressure came from Taranaki. They tried the same move, really a double miss with Crowley going into the ball. Mahan took it in and this time they got the ball out quickly and kept it moving. And although the Lions had the numbers, when the tackle came, there was enough Taranaki support there quickly enough. There goes Murphy in, sets it up, the support comes in, comes in. There's Slater, got the ball and over he goes. Here we see it again. The ball was won quickly, set up nicely and definitely through there is Andy Slater. Referee saw it, and <laughs> Slater loves it. It's not all over yet. Rugby Park in New Plymouth, one world of sport with 15 minutes to go. The Lions winning that ball. Jones, there are numbers out wide. They use the loose forwards, Clark and Webster. Now the backs are into it. There are numbers there. Gibbs, oh, instant reply by the Lions through Richard Wallace. Wallace finishes off a very good period of play by the Lions right from the kickoff. Good try there. The Lions set the ruck up, came out wide. Taranaki didn't really have the numbers. There was a quick skip pass out and right out to the winger where number 14 Wallace scored the try. He finished it off well. He had a good pass coming to him. It was always a try. We see the pass coming from Clement. He's played quite well at fullback, Anthony Clement. The pass was perfect. The catch was taken. The try that was scored by Richard Wallace, not converted by Barnes. It's 37 to 18. 13 minutes to go in this match. Rugby Park in New Plymouth. And a very big crowd has really had a feast of very good rugby. Especially pleased with the performance of their home team, the Taranaki crowd here at Rugby Park. They've done a lot of attacking. They've scored two excellent tries through O'Sullivan and Andy Slater. The Lions have just had that edge. Now Crowley 
man of the match maybe for the uh, Taranaki team today yet again Jones drop kicks the ball into touch on the full just looking for the jumper the timing Johnson up to Leonard Clark and Cronin Teague who scored a try the 22 line in they go 18 meters out now from Taranaki's line the Lions finishing it off pretty well there Jones couldn't free it Clark no one with him driving up to the line the Lions just out Cronin looking for his second takes a while to place that but it's okay Barnes now out wide Clement met by Murphy that's a try stopping tackle no it's try time again for Cunningham Cunningham scores for the Lions yeah it's Barnes really you see the ball was taken into the ruck came back quickly out to the backs looked as though the Lions backs had been stopped by a pretty good tackle in there by uh, I think Dwight Murphy coming in, but Barnes backing up, showed his school, burst out of the tackle, and then cleared the ball out to Cunningham, and he was over for his second try, I think, John. We see it again now. It looked as though the tackle had been made well in midfield by Murphy, as Graham Murray said, to stop the try. Barnes setting it up, though, again. Cunningham, no defenders left. Cunningham's try not converted from the sideline by Barnes. It's 42 to 18, the Lions in front. Well, Taranaki win one. Bull. Two tacklers. They can't hold him. Andrew Slater uh, taking it on. Slater carries it on. Now Dombrowski. Belletti. Two tacklers can't hold him. Three tacklers can't hold him. Four. He's only seven metres out. Lays it back beautifully for Allen. Get him behind me will be the call. Once more, the ball is free. Which way for Taranaki? Dombrowski reaching. Has, has to be a penalty there. The Lions hand coming through again. And I look for, for a very quick Taranaki. Taken by Dombrowski quickly. Reaching out, hoping to touch the post even. That would have been enough. Again they take it. Oh, well read by Cronin. Break away from the Lions, no more drops it. Not gone by the Lions, and Taranaki really uh, should have used that a little bit better than they did, and they need to post there. Cronin will be pleased with that intercept. I think most, even, even lock forwards, would have read that it was going to Bull Allen. Taranaki, Cameron. Slater and Crowley in again. He lays it back beautifully. Taranaki must win this. They do. That presumably is Allen. No, it's Gordon Slater leading it on. Allen standing off. Belletti gives it to him on a plate. Crowley running it wide. Enon looking for Mann. Did he knock it on? 22 dropout. Nichols only there, practically their number two halfback too, isn't he? Because Armstrong was named in the team originally. Withdrew through injury. Robert Jones took over. Jones goes off. Nickel, the Scottish number two halfback, is on the field for the Lions. Bull Allen runs it up. Taranaki having a real go. Belletti. He's got a bit to learn, but he's certainly got the raw talent there. Cameron. Murphy. Murphy. Inside the 22. McDonald. Or is it Fitzpatrick? <laughs> That's McDonald scoring the try for Taranaki. A great hooker's try by Shane McDonald. You see Paletti here taking the ball and he's had a pretty good game for a 19-year-old straight out of the island. Sets it up well. Dombrowski struggles a bit to get it away, but the try really made by Murphy. Experience showing there. Came through. Psychological moment. Picked it. Passed it. And there's Shane McDonald, and he'll be 
another happy Taranaki forward. Three of the tries going to the forwards now. Well, this is Murphy playing his 100th game for Taranaki today. He can take all the credit for that. It was a grand little pass, a nice run, finished off by McDonald. The kick from Crowley has been successful. A seven-pointer to Taranaki. It's 42 to 25. Cronin not getting that high under his own steam. That's Clark holding it in. Leonard adding his weight. Nickel pointing the way from halfback, the number 18. Now with Barnes combining through Webster. Up it goes to Gibb. Scott Gibb comes back from injury with a try. Another good try here. Uh, see the big burst then by num number seven, Webster. And Gibb, who I, I think must be one, they should be really looking at pretty closely for the test. He's had a good game of support today going through the score on the post. front of the posts this will be no trouble one more seven pointer there for the Lions at 49 points to 25 the Lions in control but it's been a very entertaining game and uh, Taranaki can take a lot of credit for being so competitive in the Steinlager International Series match at Rugby Park Pass is not really smooth though out on the backs from the Lions all the time. Martin Johnson looks as though he's going to sleep on the ground there. But one of the players have gone over the top. Dombrowski, Gordon Slater, all black trialists this year. New Zealand Colt last year. Now up to Faletti. Oh, he runs so strongly. Nicely back in position was Andy Slater with him. Off they go again. Hill loses it forward and shouldn't have. Well, the crowd has loved this one, but the game has come to an end at Rugby Park in New Plymouth, and the Lions have won this match by 49 points to 20.